This month at Raphael's table, Chef Abby has unveiled so many new cooking classes, and this morning she's back to show how to make pan-seared scallops with ricotta gnocchi and creamy bourbon sauce. Abby, this sounds just as fabulous as it smells right now. Again, it cooking is. classes coming up the month of March. We're making these scallops this morning. Tell me what is step mm -hmm. one. We got a nice little contraption here with us. Right. Set. Today we're going to focus on pan-searing the scallops. It's intimidating for a lot of people, but it actually is incredibly easy. It's also incredibly fast. Okay. Um, the key is you want to make sure your pan is hot. You want to use vegetable oil, not olive oil. Olive oil can't take the high heat. It will burn. Right. We're kind of frying these up just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Okay. We're also going to use ghee. Which what is ghee? Ghee is butter that has had the solids and the um, water removed. It's when butter burns, it's the solid that burns. So okay. ghee can take a much higher heat. Amazing. Now to tell when your pan is hot, you can splash a little bit of water. If it starts sizzling right away, it's, it's ready. ready. To go. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of vegetable oil, not olive oil. Let's let that get hot. Okay. Now I have dried the scallops. It's very important to make sure they are dry. If they it's are just kind of wet, paper towel, kind of pressing a little that's bit. That's right. Even if they're dry packed, you still need to dry them. Um, if you do not, they will really poach more than sear. Okay. So now I'm going to add a little bit of ghee. Looking good. I actually used to make a lot of scallops in college, Abby Fun Really? Fact. I did. I think I just, I watched a cooking show one time and I was like, oh, I can do that. And it then is, so I made those, I made it for friends is, and It is good. incredibly easy. Now that the ghee has melted, I want to get a little bit on top. Okay. So it can be you flip them over. soaking in. And you mentioned too, again, these cook very fast. I mean, they even do. just like two, two, three minutes maybe. Um, about one and a half to two minutes, oh, okay. depending on the size. Like we have one that's larger than the other, so it might okay. need to cook a little bit more than the other. Okay. So let's let that sizzle for a moment and let's talk about what we are going to serve it with. Yes, I'm very excited um, about this now kind of this sauce we is got over here. ricotta gnocchi with bourbon cream <gasps> sauce. Amazing. So Abby. the ricotta gnocchi as compared to uh, traditional potato gnocchi is really quick, it's easy, it's really fail proof where potato gnocchi not so much. Okay. So, in it's the class, in our pan-seared scallops with ricotta gnocchi and creamy bourbon sauce, we make it all. We'll make the gnocchi, we'll make the sauce. The key to the sauce is use a really high quality bourbon. Even though the um, alcohol cooks away, the flavor does not. So you really want to make sure you have good flavor. Okay. Now let's see what our scallops Looking pretty good. Look like. Now that actually is not ready. It okay. needs, I'm going to turn the heat up just a little yeah. bit. TV time is always a little interesting. Also, yeah. again, if you're doing it at a home stove, it's probably going to go a little bit faster mm -hmm. as well, too. We want to stress. Um, but let's talk to you again about this sauce, Abby, we got over here. You said it's a bourbon. It's a bourbon, bourbon base. It's a bourbon cream sauce. Okay. Absolutely delicious. Now we cooked the gnocchi in the in sauce. The sauce. Oh, we did amazing. not boil the gnocchi first. So cooked it in the sauce and we plated it. And we have some extra sauce because once we plate the scallops on top of we the gnocchi, some final drizzle. we will drizzle. Oh, and there's the final product there. We will drizzle Abby. a little bit on. So Looks amazing. Is this an original recipe of yours? It is. She's it so absolutely talented. is, and there are variations you can do with the sauce. I love to make it a jalapeno <gasps> bourbon. Oh, the possibilities mm -hmm. at Raphael's absolutely. table are truly endless. And so, Abby, as we kind of wrap these here, again, we know they're still kind of frying up, but we do uh -huh. want to stress you are offering these classes all month long, actually, for different recipes. Absolutely. I have this class. Uh, one of the classes at the end of the month has sold out. We still have one ticket available. For, if I'm not mistaken, it's March 30th, and I will be repeating it in May. Okay. So if you're not one. already on our email subscriber list, definitely go to our website, raphaelstable.com. Join our email subscriber list so that you will receive the uh, May schedule when I send it out. Oh, my word. We are on the mm -hmm. edge of our seat, Abby. All right, so how are we going to plate some things up? You we made some scallops are. for us previously already mm -hmm. as those kind of finished So the we have these. Already. Amazing. We'll 
Place I them on top, and then if I you'd really like do. to grab the sauce, Be you honest. can do the Oh, they're so, the presentation is so key, Abby. All right, I'm just kind of drizzling them on top. Mm -hmm. oh. Drizzle it on top. Do we get that? Look at that. Uh -huh. Beautiful. A Quick. True, a true artist and at work. easy. Okay, can I try it up? I'm going to take a little bite. Absolutely. This looks amazing. i got to get a little bite absolutely. of the scallop in there. Absolutely. Oh, Abby, this looks amazing. Mm. Oh, my word. Abby, you want to stick around all day and just make this for everybody? I'd be happy that's to. That's a good idea. I'd Chef Abby at Raphael's Table, this is so fantastic. You are so talented. Again, we're going to have all those details for the upcoming classes on our website, tvliving.com. Abby, my friend, thank you again so much. We so oh, appreciate you. Thank you.